Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to use the consolidate feature in Excel. So the consolidate feature, you can find that under data in the data tools and here's the consolidate feature, the consolidate image icon. So what it is, what it does so what it does is it combines values so you can see here in the screen tip here, it combines values from multiple ranges into one new range. So visually speaking, let's say that you had three different worksheets or even uh, three different workbooks, three different Excel files, but you have the same columns and the same rows for e each table and you want to combine all that into one, basically one big table. So different ranges into one range. That's what the consolidate feature would do. And also in addition to, um, usually it's best practices to have the, the same amount, the same column headings and the same row headings but as you see in an example later on that I'll show that you don't necessarily have to do that because the consolidate feature is a little bit smart enough to be able to figure out figure that out for you. So let's go through and see how we can use the consolidate feature. So say for example we have uh, product sales for uh, a full year January to February and we're going to get this from different regions in the world, and let's say the Americas and Europe and Asia, and we we want to consolidate all that and add that all up into this final worksheet tab. Well, all you need to do is go into that final tab or whichever your target tab is or your target worksheet. Go ahead and click the consolidate button here, and I can see I already got a couple. Let me just go ahead and delete these, and I'll kind of show you how we go through it. So with the function we want to do, you, there's several functions you can use. Probably the most common that you think about using is some. We can count, we can average, min, max, all these other type of, uh, I guess, sum functions. But the most common one that you'll probably use is sum because you really want to sum up, and go ahead and close this, you really want to sum up the sales, let's say for sales for product one in January, for your Americas and Europe and Asia, all into this final worksheet. So let's go ahead and bring back the consolidate window here. So the reference, I'm going to pick up my first reference, is going to be Americas. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Americas and click Add. So it's going to put that one into the reference box there. And now I'm also going to do Europe. So since I've already kind of have them all in the same range dimensions from A to D, column A to D, and rows 1 to 13, it kind of picked it out for me. But if yours is different, you can go ahead and select the ranges again. So Europe is here, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. And Asia is here. It kind of saw that already. So I'm going to go ahead and add that one. And I want to use the labels. I want to use labels in the top row. So I want to use product one, two, and three. And I want to use labels in the left column, January to December. Now, I don't need to have this create links in the source for this first example. So I'm going to take that out. Actually, I'm probably going to take it out for the other ones, too. OK, so it's not selected. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And you can see now that it's added them all up together. And I, for a quick visual check, you can see in October, America's was all quantity of a 10 for products 1, 2, and 3. Europe was the same for October 1, 2, 3. And so was Asia for 1, 2, and 3. So that final should be 30, which it is. So this is a these are all static numbers now so basically what it did was when it consolidated it added all the numbers together and gave you a static value but what we can also do is make them dynamically linked let me go ahead and delete this and we'll start again and what, what I mean by dynamically linked let's say we have this final figure and you wanted to kind of change some things around maybe uh, you would expect sometimes that this gets updated well if we have a dynamic linked, anything that changes in the source data here will change on the final. So let's go ahead and go through the consolidate function again. I'm going to go click that. And since it already has my references here, I'm just going to go ahead and click this create links to the source data. So once I click OK, so what you notice here is it brought back the consolidated results in outline form. So in an outline form, you can see we have our pluses here where you can go into a further level of detail. If I can click, I can just click plus to expand that for that particular grouping in January. Or I can just press number two here and it'll expand it for everything. And you'll see here we have our consolidate uh, text, which is basically the name of this file. 
And we can see that these are the different values for the different theaters, 15, 33, 44. Uh, Americas is 15, Europe 34, and Asia is 33. And so what happens is now you notice that these are references to the different worksheets. And then when we have it under here in January, this is basically the sum of our values here. So if I change Americas, if I change this to 0, you'll see that now that value is going to reduce by 15. And you can see it's zero now it's reduced by 15. So that is what the linkages do when you select that box. It will link it to the source tables here, the source ranges here, and it will dynamically update. So that's for that's for this example. Now what if we have a an example where our columns are not the same, or even our rows. So we have here where we have product one, two, and three, this is the same as the first example here in Americas. But for Europe, maybe we had it switched around and product number two came first and product number one is second. And for Asia, we don't we only have product number one and we don't have anything in October. Well that's not a problem for Excel, so it's actually pretty smart enough to be able to figure it out. So let's go ahead and go into our final tab here and go under consolidate and let's remove these references. These are the old ones. And let's add the new references. So we're going to add Americas number two here. And then we'll add that. And we'll also add Europe for these. You notice that it expanded out there because it thought that the range of cells was out to column D, but we, but it's not. So we have to reselect it again. So let's go ahead and add that. And for Asia, it's only columns A and B here. And click OK. I'm not going. I'm not going to use the create links of the source data for this example. So I'll click OK, and you'll notice that even though we had product number two come first in column B and C, the final tab really picked it up. So that 10, 10 would be the sum of 10 and 1,000 and nothing in Asia. And so it, pr it pretty much uh, gives us the sum of those ranges, even though the columns were not in in order, at least for Europe, the Europe tab. So Excel was actually pretty smart enough to be able to figure that out. So that's the example of the consolidate feature in Excel. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.